This is the Creality K1. It's Creality's first high-speed 3D printer with a claimed printing speed of 600 millimeters per second. Super fast print speed is one of the main selling points of this 3D printer, and here you can see it printing in real time. This video is not sped up. It's also one of the easiest 3D printers to assemble. It comes pre-assembled right out of the box. Here you can see the entire unboxing process. As you can tell, all you have to do is remove some protective coverings, and you're pretty much good to go. Also, don't forget to unscrew these screws that hold the build plate secure for shipping. The only assembly you really have to do is put on the screen. Also, make sure to set the voltage for your country. In the US, it's 115. You go through the setup process and the calibration does take a while. The cool thing about this printer is it's extremely smart and it basically does all the hard work for you. So there's basically no more manually leveling your 3D printer's bed and all of that. As far as build volume goes, this isn't the biggest 3D printer, and there is actually the K1 Max as well, but this one here is uh, 220 by 220 by 250. One of my favorite things about this 3D printer, especially since it's a Creality printer, is you're in the Creality ecosystem, which means you could browse files, slice, and print the files all from your phone or tablet. There's very few other 3D printers where this is possible. It actually has a built-in slicer. So you could literally be on your phone, pick a file, slice the file, and click print all from your phone. It's really cool. Now, as far as print quality goes, this printer is pretty much as good as any other 3D printer, but it's much, much faster. So here you can see it uh, printing the standard Benchy, and it's doing a really great job, and it's printing it really fast. My main complaint with this 3D printer is that it's pretty loud. So here it's 81 decibels inside the printer, basically uh, because the fan is really blowing hard to cool down the print. Now the build plate on this printer is really nice. It's a flexible build plate and it aligns really easily. There's just these two screws in the back. And you can see it's magnetic as well. And it's also recommended to use glue on the build plate to get the best build uh, adhesion. And you can see it's even written on the back there. It says, please apply glue. You could also see the giant fan here on the side. That's what makes it really loud. And you also have a really nice hot end so you could print all different types of materials. Now this printer is a Core XY printer, which means the hot end moves in the X and the Y direction, and the bed only moves in the Z direction. It's different from something like the Ender 3, which is what people call a bed slinger. One of the awkward things about this printer is the filament spool holder is just kind of tucked awkwardly in the back, and of course you only have uh, the ability to print with one color. It is a direct drive extruder and it has a really nice uh, ceramic hot end, so you shouldn't have too many issues with it clogging. Overall, the Creality K1 is a very exciting new entrant into the world of high speed 3D printing. The biggest drawback to this 3D printer is how loud it is, but the biggest selling point is that it's in the Creality ecosystem, which means you could print and slice and choose STL models from your phone. This is really great, especially if you're a beginner or new to the world of 3D printing. And that's a very quick overview of the Creality K1, one of the newest and most exciting high-speed 3D printers available.